This is London, the kingdom where the sun never set in the past, a city steeped in history and resilience. Through this historic city is the River Thames, a vital waterway that has shaped London's history and growth. But today, this proud city faces a new and growing threat, the rising waters of the Thames, driven by both the forces of nature and the impact of human actions. As climate change accelerates, primarily influenced by human activities, such as carbon emissions and deforestation, sea levels are increasing and storm surges are becoming more frequent, posing a severe challenge to London's safety. Have you ever wondered what stands between London and the rising waters of the Thames? As the climate crisis intensifies and sea levels rise, the question is more urgent than ever. Can the Thames barrier save London from catastrophic flooding? In this video, we'll explore how this engineering marvel works, its strengths and limitations, and whether it is enough to keep London safe as conditions worsen. The Thames Barrier is one of the world's most considerable movable flood barriers, protecting over 1.3 million people and billions of cost property. But is, is it still up to the task with rising seas and more frequent storm surges? Stick around to find out. Flooding has always been a threat to London. The Thames Barrier was born out of necessity after the devastating floods of 1953, which led to the loss of over 300 lives and caused widespread damage across the UK and Europe. The 1953 North Sea Flood was one of the worst natural disasters in modern British history, inundating over 30,000 people's homes and leaving entire communities devastated. The floodwaters breached defences, causing power outages, crippling transportation and displacing tens of thousands of people. The aftermath was a wake-up call, revealing the vulnerability of low-lying areas in London and the southeast, and it highlighted the urgent need for a robust and comprehensive flood defence system to protect the city from future catastrophes. The idea for the Thames Barrier came after the devastating 1953 North Sea Flood, highlighting the urgent need for more robust flood defences in London. The concept of building a movable barrier across the Thames took nearly two decades to develop and refine, involving extensive research, engineering innovations and consultations with experts. The barrier was officially opened in 1984, after almost two decades of planning and construction, and it has since become London's most critical defence against the Thames. But why is this barrier so significant today? The Thames is not just a historic river, it is also an essential source of threat as climate change continues to accelerate. Rising sea levels due to global warming are putting additional pressure on flood defences. And more frequent and powerful storm surges threaten to overwhelm traditional systems. Without robust flood protection, vast areas of London could be inundated, impacting millions of lives and causing billions of pounds in damages. This makes the Thames Barrier an essential and irreplaceable line of defence for Londoners, providing crucial protection against these increasing threats. So, how does the Thames Barrier work? Spanning 520 metres across the River Thames near Woolwich, the barrier protects 125 square kilometres of central London from flooding caused by tidal surges. It consists of 10 steel gates that can be raised into position across the Thames. When raised, the main gates 
stand as high as a five-story building and as wide as the opening of Tower Bridge, with each main gate weighing 3,300 tons. When a flood threat is detected, these gates are raised from the riverbed to create a wall. Holding back surging waters, it only takes about 30 minutes to close the barrier completely and each gate can withstand the force of thousands of tons of water. The Thames Barrier is a remarkable feat of engineering that relies on both technology and human expertise. It's designed to protect London from the highest tides and storm surges, which can be devastating without intervention. When the gates rise, they effectively seal off the vulnerable areas of London, preventing floodwaters from moving upstream and inundating the city. The entire operation requires careful coordination, as the timing has to be precise to ensure maximum protection. The barrier is a fine example of precision engineering. It is operated based on tide predictions and weather forecasts, ensuring that London is protected well in advance of any high tide or storm surge. The barrier is closed under storm surge conditions to protect London from flooding from the sea. It may also be closed during periods of high flow over Teddington Weir to reduce the risk of river flooding in some areas of West London, including Richmond and Twickenham. Once closed, the Thames Barrier remains in place over high water until the water level downstream has reduced to match the level upstream. This managed process takes about five hours and ensures that the floodwaters are effectively controlled. The system also includes a series of sensors and control mechanisms to monitor water levels, making adjustments as needed to prevent flooding. These sensors collect real-time data, providing operators with critical information to make timely decisions. The combination of automated systems and manual oversight makes the barrier both highly responsive and adaptable capable of handling unexpected changes in weather conditions. Since its construction, the Thames Barrier has been closed more than 200 times, protecting millions of people and billions in property. But can it keep up with the increasing challenges posed by climate change? Let's talk about the challenges. The Thames Barrier was initially designed to last until around 2030. And while it has proven incredibly effective, it's now being pushed beyond its original purpose. Sea levels have been rising faster than expected and climate change is leading to more unpredictable weather patterns. This means that the barrier is closing more frequently each year than originally anticipated. Moreover, it was designed to protect against storm surges and high tides. But as sea levels continue to rise, the margin of safety is shrinking. The question now is, how much longer can the Thames Barrier continue to perform at this high level of effectiveness? Londoners and experts alike are increasingly concerned that without updates or enhancements, the current system may eventually be overwhelmed. The UK government is already planning for a future beyond the current Thames barrier. One proposal is to build an even larger barrier further downstream, which could offer greater protection as sea levels rise over the next century. Additionally, Authorities are looking at supplementary flood defences, like improved embankments and smaller floodgates throughout London to work in conjunction with the Thames Barrier.
There's also a focus on adaptive management, which involves continually assessing and upgrading the flood defence system to respond to the latest data on climate change. This could include more advanced technology for prediction and response, such as AI-based flood monitoring systems that can provide real-time data to ensure that all defences are optimally managed. Let's take a look at some real-life situations where the Thames barrier has played a crucial role. In January 2014, the barrier closed in response to one of the highest tidal surges seen in decades. During this event, it protected thousands of properties from flooding and demonstrated just how critical it is for London's safety. However, there have also been situations where the libations of the system have been evident. During periods of heavy rainfall and high tides, the barrier has to work in tandem with other drainage systems, which can sometimes be overwhelmed. This highlights the importance of having a broader, more resilient flood defence network beyond just the barrier itself. An important aspect of the Thames Barrier's effectiveness is the role of those who operate it. The barrier is managed by skilled operators who undergo rigorous training to ensure that the system works flawlessly when needed. These operators are akin to air traffic controllers. They must anticipate conditions, predict potential threats, and make the right decisions under pressure. Their expertise is a critical part of what makes the Thames Barrier such an effective defence system. So, can the Thames Barrier continue to keep London safe as sea levels rise? According to many experts, while the barrier is still effective, it's not a long-term solution without upgrades or a replacement. The barrier was originally designed to be used sparingly, but with rising sea levels and climate change, it's now closing multiple times per year. The Thames Barrier is an engineering marvel and a critical line of defence for London. But rising seas and climate change present new challenges. Can it save London from the rising tides of the future? The answer is complex. It's effective now, but continued adaptation and investment are essential. What do you think? Should London build a new, more enormous barrier or focus on other types of defences? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this look at London's flood defences interesting, please like, share and subscribe to Aviation and Nautical Masters for more deep dives into the world of engineering, maritime innovation, and much more.